Hi, this video tutorial I will cover serial version UID. Here you can see employee class which implements uh, serializable interface and it has uh, serial version UID. Serial version UID is used to ensure the same class is loaded during uh, deserialization. And uh, serial version UID is used for version control of uh, object. And uh, serialization UID should be static final. We can assign uh, any number to serial version UID. And uh, using Eclipse IDE, we can automatically generate uh, serial version UID. Here I have defined uh, employee class which implements uh, serializable interface. But I didn't define uh, serial version UID. So it will comply in uh, this problem. The serializable class employee does not declare a static final serial version UID field of type long. We can generate a serial version UID by doing this. Right click, quick fix, add generated serial version ID, click this one. And you can see serial version UID is generated. And uh, here is the value of uh, serial version UID. Here I have defined employee class which implements uh, serializable interface. So objects of uh, employee class can be serialized and uh, save it in the disk. And uh, it contains uh, serial version UID field. And uh, here you can see the value. Using serialization, we can serialize employee object and uh, save it in the disk. Along with that uh, serialized employee object, serial version UID value also will be saved. Using deserialization, we can reconstruct the employee object from the disk. While reconstructing, JVM will check. Serial version UID in the disk is same as serial version UID in the employee class. If it is same, then uh, no problem will come. If uh, it is different, then uh, it will throw an exception. Here I have defined uh, employee class which implements uh, serializable interface. Here I have defined uh, serialization class and uh, what this uh, program will do is, it will serialize the employee object and uh, write it to the file. The file is employee.ser. I will run this program and show you the output. And here you can see the output. Successfully written employee object to the file. I am refreshing this project. And you can see employee.ser file is created and it contains employee object. Here I have defined the class deserialization and what this program does is it will read the employee information from employee.ser file and reconstruct the employee object. I am running this program. And here you can see successfully read employee object from the file. And ID is 101 and name is Peter. Deserialization works without any problem because there is no changes in employee class. Here you can see employee class which implements a serializable interface and it has a serial version UID. Here you can see the value. Using serialization, object of uh, this employee class is uh, serialized and uh, save it in the disk. And uh, along with that, uh, serial version UID also saved. After some point of time, one more field is added in the employee class. 
the field is age so structure of the employee class is changed so we have to change serial version uid now current value is this one and this value is not equal to serial version uid in the disk now if you do deserialization then we will get uh, this exception invalid class exception because uh, serial version uid in the disk is not same as serial version uid of uh, employee class we cannot uh, serialize static field but one exception only serial version uid static field can be serialized I will add one more field called age. I have added one field, so I have to change this serial version UID. I am generating new one. And you can see serial version UID is generated and uh, this value is uh, not equal to the value which is uh, saved previously in the disk so if i run uh, deserialization program i will get uh, exception and uh, you can see i got uh, invalid class exception this is a serial version uid in the disk and uh, this is the current uh, employee class uh, serial version UID which are not matched so I got uh, this exception why serial version UID is required in real time it is possible that you have serialized a object in your file and you deserialized it after few months on different JVM in between class declaration has been changed so it is good idea to maintain version system and uh, serial version UID does exactly same thing it checks if you are deserializing the same object which you have serialized and uh, this is about uh, serial version UID and uh, thanks for watching